All right, here we go. Epic Walther, how are you, man? Hey, Mind One TV, thanks for the three months, dude. Welsh Warrior 82, thank you as well. Sorry I missed you up there. Awesome, buddy. Raken Smith, hey, thank you, man. It's good to see you. Okay, so the only thing we've done since we've been here is we talked to everyone out here already. Uh, we know that this guy sells us uh, some things that we may need later. I don't think we've talked to the dwarf. I remember there being a dwarf out here. Maybe that's not correct. Hmm. But yeah. Let's check out the end before we actually go into the museum outskirts. John Akiba, good to see you, man. Is this a GTA mod? Sure. To meditate nins, talk to the innkeeper and left click meditation. All right. What's up, bud? Hmm. Three ounces of optimum martyr, a drop of mercury solution. And meth. Oh. oh, sorry. I got lost in thought. Hmm. Greetings. Did you? Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Hey, Stone Northland. Witcher. A witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? I don't think Giggity. you can afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists. Alchemists, too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem, then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. Oh, all right, shit. all right. I'm sorry. Thank you to Sugar Glider Dude and Rockzilla. Welcome to the sub club, buddy. Thank you for joining us. Guys, please give Rockzilla a warm welcome. Ouch, our 61st sub today. Jesus. Woo. All right, they say you need ghoul blood. They say you need ghoul blood. Do you have any? Not I'll yet. come back when I've gathered some. I need that blood for my studies. Be quick about it. Oh, that's it? What brings you here? You don't look like a local. Oh, I got... It's going to take me a while to remember. I don't need to read these out loud because they're actually voiced. Not a lot of games do that. You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city, which are a cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It oh, no, was an incredible it. experience. I presented my dissertation on specific conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science <laughs> is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. Indeed, and indubitably. And can spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm. I like it. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Uh, hey, Dave. Yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully, he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me. They must. Hello, friend. You want money? I got money. I give the list. Every time you read it out loud, Ko, I'll have to donate one dollar to your mods. Every time. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> what's up? Uh, do you ask everyone? Oh. <clears throat> do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. That explains it. Thank you, Isaac. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Need any help from a witcher? Well, we already know that he needs uh, ghoul blood. But... Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the okay. notice I hung outside. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Ouch. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it. If the locals were hey, all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Luna. Ha. Nice. 
typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? That hand motion. Big thank you to Icy Caress, $10 overall. And uh, two, a two-part message that is very much appreciated. Thank you, Icy Caress. Appreciate the support, dude, and the kind words. Thank you, man. Um, okay. Do How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. Cool. What about ingredients? Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing oh, Bobo. No, it and reads them. That's the thing. ingredients derived from both plants I don't need and to. animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. Dude, Icy Caress, you had a big shout out to Nuriel. That's awesome, Nuriel. You're you've been excellent since you've been a mod. Thank you very much for your help, Nuriel. And very cool of you, Icy Crest. And thank you for another ten dollars. My God. I'm interested in formulae. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. I think I've heard enough. I think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun. Where have you been, Bobo? It's good to see you, dude. Farewell. Farewell. All right, so that was Kalkstein. What's up, Olaf? How you doing, bro? How you be? What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's no welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. Thank you, Icy Crest. I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? Thanks, Bobo. I appreciate it, buddy. Icy Caress, thank you for your sub as well. Good show, buddy, and welcome. Welcome to the sub club. Guys, please give Icy Caress a warm welcome to our family. Oh, also, Undur, two months. Thank you, my friend. Awesome. Uh, let's see. I'm a witcher. I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. The Reverend. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. Mm. Okay. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the eternal fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. Whoa. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. 
The frost was biting, but we did our penance, crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. So we got a cult. Or something. No dead devils yet today. Got some flint. <laughs> Vesna Hood. Greetings, handsome. What's up, girl? You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? Hey, Motogogo. And LeBlanc, By hello. Chance. Really? Hey, Maybe thank you again, Icy Caress. There's a chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Uh, let's see what she has. We should probably... I don't know if we should keep food. I don't know how hard this difficulty is going to be. I don't remember. Um, we don't really need anything she has unless we want to get potion bases. Now we're fine for now. Let's see if anything sells for a lot. Nope. What can I get you? God of Monsters, how are you, man? Shylet, how far am I into The Witcher? Um, not very far, actually. Nothing now. Just about see you later. an hour and a half, two hours. Did you want to ask me something? Oh, we've already we'll done everything later. with her. Alvin, we haven't spoken with him yet. You saved me, right? I helped. I wonder what will happen to me now. Waiting for your kin to come? No. My family has passed on. Sorry, kid. It's all right. I barely knew them. Oh, man. It's kind of cold. Big thank you to Pata64 for the 13 months. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, baby, I am. Thank you. What a fuck? Hell yeah, I do. All the orange. Okay, fine. What a fuck? Yes. Do 10. How about 15? No way! What a fuck! We gotta do at least double. Mad of War! Go, thank you, new community. I'm going through some insane family issues, but this channel is a constant source of smiles every day. I love all you beautiful, fluffing faces from Mad of War 13. Thank you, Mad of War. Appreciate that, brother. Thank you very much. Uh oh. No pain, no gain. Oh, I don't remember how to do this at all. Okay. Get some good vibes, that's awesome. Good vibes your way, Matt. And coffee cheers to you. In my Hearthstone mug. <laughs> Lost again. Shoulda known. Here's your gold. Alright. He was the wimpy fist fighter. Who wants uh, what to about get slapped? fist fighter? I'm itching to hit someone. You? Wanna beat? Oh, we'll see. Let's see how we do here. No challengers. I'll smash your face. Go. Oh, smash it. Basically, I'm just holding right click, and then the second he swings, I left click. Oh god. Oh god, my face. Way Hedgehog and Templar, or uh, Templar Ermos. Thank you very much for subbing, and welcome back to the sub club. Appreciate that, guys. Weed for president. Agreed. You win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. Awesome. I'm itching to it someone. What a beating, stranger. We fight for money. Co, why are you opting for the human side? 
Um, yes, Cold Shade. We're doing human on both for a consistent playthrough through all the Witchers. That and I haven't done human on either of them. I'll kick your ass <laughs> and make money doing it. We'll see. That's exactly what the other guy said. Fighting or witching? Hit me, chicky. I'm I'm hitting you right in your face. Who wants to get slapped? Go. Oh shoot. Hit me, chicky. There we go. No challenge. Dark Rob. Awesome, man. I appreciate that, Dark Rob, and that's excellent, brother. That's absolutely excellent. Yes, they have JC Wilma. You know, it's going to be really interesting kind of seeing how the whole franchise progresses over the years because the second one has Fist Fighting 2, and I like it a lot better than this one. And I'm sure the third will be another evolution of that. Should be cool. All right, so tough Fist Fighter? I'm itching to it somewhere. No challengers? I'm itching to it somewhere. I don't want to second pick. I don't want to second pick. Well, oh, enough. Thank you to Sunny867. No challengers. Oh, it's Bad Fred now? Uh -oh. Whoa. Some tournament going on. S. Dean, quit trying we'll to each hit me. Fat hit me. Fred will rearrange your face. Just show me your gold. How much? Fat Fred. 25 orans. I will bet this. I'm in. Let's do it. I'm itching to it, son. I'm about to kill you, you bastard. I'm itching to it, son. No challengers. I'm about to kill you, you bastard. Keeps dodging, man. Dude, he hits like a freaking truck. Who wants to get slapped? There we go. Ooh, man. That's a rough. Flambulo, the new Mortal Kombat looks different than I expected. <laughs> You win. Man you win. Wood. Choose two flasks of supreme moonshine and a snack to go with them. A ring or cash. Hmm. Gimpy Wimpy. Thanks for your four months, buddy. Really appreciate that, dude. Welcome. Welcome back to the sub club. Uh. Kind of think we should go with the gold. Let's go with the ring. The ring. Never liked it. Gold diamond ring. Wow, okay. That sounds like it could be pretty good. Um, is there anyone else here we I'm need to talk to? My brother -in -law making bricks in the swamp. Let's get these bricks. Fighting or watching? No challengers. So let's go ahead and rest and get these talents distributed. And then I think we'll be all ready to start kind of exploring the uh, outside area. What can I do for you? Oh, our stash. Do we want to put anything in here yet? Let's put stuff that we haven't, uh... Actually, we can just drop this stuff. Um... Five nights. It's payday! Motherfluffers, but not a big one. Spend it wisely from Frictional Gaming. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate that, man. <laughs> Great message, too. Um... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to save anything right now. Not yet, at least. But we do need to meditate. What can I do for you? Got a room. Oh, wait. I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? Huh. Okay. Got a room. Got a room? Yes. 
For you, five Orans. Apparently a room is by the fire. That's okay. Alright, we have nine bronze tokens. Hmm. Alright, first thing we want to do is go through our steel sword and get any knockdown treats. Because those are very good. Fictional Gaming, thank you for your sub, my friend. And good show, sir. Really appreciate the support. Welcome, 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 my friend. Guys, please give him a warm one. Awesome, awesome. Um, don't need to do any of those yet. Uh, here we go. Knock down. Percent. Knock down plus thirty percent. Good for now. Actually, precise hit we also want to get. All right, so we're really going to work on uh, that for group. Now, we kind of have to spread out through these as well. We've already got potion brewing. Did we get the one that lets us get more... Oops, here we go. Ad enables identification gathering of herbs. Want to get that one. Enables creation of oils. Um... Hello, friend. You want money? I got money. I give donations. Bobo, no, I, I'm not, I'm not reading him on purpose, buddy. No, sir. Uh, let's get endurance regen. And... Hmm. Oh, we gotta start working through strength, because it has some really nice stuff later. There's some regen right there. Let's go with strength one. All right, we need to build any potions. What do we need for this? Oh, we don't have green or yellow. All right, I think that'll actually give us... Yeah, that'll give us a bronze talent, so we want to get that soon. Kick at base, how you been, man? Good to see you, sir. All right, let's meditate until morning. Hmm, there are any more people here? Traveler? Damn squirrels! Assaulting convoys like during and the war! And dickery! I'm forced to sell my goods out here! Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight! Go ahead! What are you peddling? Whoa. My life! <laughs> wow! Okay. Um, so we've already read that. We've already read that. We've already read that. And we've already read that. So let's sell all this stuff. I don't even remember how to sell it. How do we sell it? Double click to sell. How much gold do we have? 150. Hmm. The Tome of Fear and Loathing. Love it. Everything's 200. We don't have that kind of money. Ain't nobody got that kind of money. Uh, let's go. That was the antiquary. Now, is there a guy here that will buy our ring? Maybe. I'll have to look around. I wonder if he'll buy it. What can I do? Um. Nope. It's time. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see what's going on out there. Hajert, how are you, man? Right, Boston? Fear and loathing in Vizima. <laughs> Go ahead and save it. Unknown herbs. Mm, that's not good. How you doing, bud? Greetings. 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 Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. 
Today, in fact. Calm down. I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not Whoa, to miss the Whoa, this dwarf is angry. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. <laughs> What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can this I ask you something? Point. Yes. Who are the Scoyatel? Who are the Scoyatel? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Scoyatel is elven for squirrels. Called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. The medicated, yes. Yes, I am. Do you trade with them? Fuck off. You won't provoke me. Shove off, troublemaker. Whoa. Shove off, troublemaker. Dude. Load game. I don't want to. I don't want to piss this guy off. Damn. He just won't even talk to you after that. I wanted to trade with them and see what he had, and all sorts of stuff. But damn, he was rude. Terrible times. Let's try again. Agreed. Call out. Make. I get. What? No. Can I? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Who are the Who squares out? Do you trade? No! <laughs> damn it! Up, baby. I just did the same dumb thing twice. Like a dummy. Ryan, you didn't see anything. I'm pretty sure no one saw anything. No one watches this stream. We're good. Great call. What? Nothing. Can I add? Yes. Okay. Who are the step do you trade with? Oh my god! Fuck off. You won't provoke. You just did it again? No, I didn't. You didn't see anything at all. There's nothing to see. This isn't gonna go on YouTube. No one is watching right now. Um I, I thought there were two things, not one. It put the cursor. <laughs> okay, slow it down. Slow it down. This is a, the second time I've done it. Greeting. Yeah. Call. Uh, uh, make sure I get neither. What's nothing? Can I add? Yes. Who are the Scoyata? Terrorists or firebrands, you'd call them. Well, there we go. Ah, <laughs> <here. laughs> yes. Are to catch me off guard or just nosy? We've beaten that boss. In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. Wait. Oh. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. See, Kerber gets yes. it. Uh, let's talk about weapons. Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some more. I'll look around for some more. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly, uh... Legal, but uh, I really need the gold. Not interested. Uh, I'm not interested. Yes. I need my sword reforged. Can I sell? Oh, I can. Let's sell that. Let's sell that. So we have 200 gold. We could actually buy a book now if we wanted to. Um, do we want to, though? Let's take a look at the antiquary again. I'm, I'm saying that all sorts of wrong, aren't I? Hey, Hitman Rick, what's up, man? What are we about to do? We're, we're playing Witcher right now. Just about to start looking around the outskirts. Mine. Hmm. Do we have the bar guests book yet? You've already okay, so it says you've already read it if we have it. Or if we've already read it. Um Hmm. I don't know if we should buy anything yet. Two hundred to get field points. What do you guys think about the books? Do you think there's any we should buy right now? Save my cash, sir, sir guess you think so? Hey, Scottish Wookie, how are you, bud? 
Uh, where is... First of all, let's turn our... Um, let's turn our... Sensitivity a little down. Wow, it's already on two? Okay, that's horribly bad. It's weird. It's, it's almost like it wasn't applied before. What are you doing, bro? Where's the uh, the big guy? There he is. What do the books do? They give you the ability yes. to uh, loot special items off of mobs and monsters, and also uh, pick special plants. Hmm. So you can buy it from him too. If there's a field plants book somewhere out in this area, though, we can just wait until we get it there because it's two hundred. Hmm. Yeah, right, butter. You need the plant books for herbs. We get the plant book. Rain. There we go. Now we'll just sell it back. Yep. Oh, he won't buy it back? He'll sell it, but he won't buy it. What a jerk. Alright, let's go. Doing well, Wookie. Thanks, man. Alright, so here we are right at the bottom southeast. We gotta explore this whole area. We can just auto loot this now, can't we? Yep. Oh, that's gonna make things so much easier. That's gonna be very nice, very nice. Yep. Balisi. What difficulty is this? We're on the max difficulty for Witcher 1. Uh oh. Oh, my stomach hurts. You all right, bro? Did witch. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts. Did witch. Ugh. Oh, damn. Geese. Chickens. Fuck up. All right, let's see what's in this barrel, and then we'll check out this little uh, area here, and then go see what's in Abigail's hut. Hey, Grand Roud. How are you, man? Killing Floor 2, I'm probably going to wait to play Killing Floor 2 at, uh, until uh, they update it. All that was in here was some flint. That's it. Damn, dude. Hmm. Gaming movie guy, yep, I'm really looking forward to The Witcher 2. I'm a big fan of it as well. And I've never, I just like this one, I've never done the human side in Witcher 2, and I've heard that uh, the Witcher side is very different from the uh, non human side. It's gonna be like a different game. Very excited. Hey, Pogo Show. Thanks, man. Good to see you. Diminutive. Right. Let's loot her place completely. I wonder what this man shaped doll is for. Huh. Let's raid her laundry basket. That sounds like a good thing to do. What do we get? An invitation to magic. Hmm. Got some grapes, y'all. Oh, and a pear! Delicious! Oh my, a witcher! Welcome. Awesome, flying come What happened to the Excellent. man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. What do you want? I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargast skulls? Not yet. Yeah, I don't think so. Hurry then. What do you want? What does she sell? Oh! Do we have 50 gold? We don't have any gold. What's up, baby? Hmm. 
Damn, if we're going to be hunting Bargas, I wish you could read the book. That would actually get us some stuff from him. Uh, sure, if you want to. That would be great. Do we have any more coffee? Hmm? Oh, that'd be great. Thank you, sweetheart. For some reason, I can't take my sword out. Maybe it's because there's no combat in the area, but... Yeah, I'm not able to take my sword out. Have you tried staying neutral in Witcher 1? Um, the th here, here's kind of how it works. There is a neutral path in Witcher 1 that is kind of more true to the, uh, the neutral stance of a Witcher. However, um, I did a little bit of res uh, research on it. I've never done the neutral path. And uh, I learned that if you go the neutral path, then there's some decisions in Witcher 2 that are assumed for you if you input the save. And I want to have kind of full control over the decisions. And to do that, um, you have to go either non-human or human when you have the, when you have the choice. So I'm, one day we may play this again and go the neutral path. But since we're doing kind of a cogent playthrough of all three, uh, we're going to go ahead and do human on both of them. And then probably if we have a human option in three, we'll do that too. As long as it's not like the evil option, which they never do, so I don't think we have to worry about that. Hey Vanish, how you doing, man? You can only take it out when it says danger in the top right. Okay, you're talking about my sword. Gotcha. Perfect. Decrease music volume? Is it too loud? It seems fine on my end, Cybernal. Is it too loud for anyone else? What kind of playthrough are we playing in Wild Hunt? Neutral, Witcher biased? Uh, the way that we're setting up this playthrough is we always pick the Witchers first. So we are loyal to Witchers. So they're at the top of the pyramid. Um, second is Humans. So if we ever have an option between Witcher or Humans, we always go Witcher. If we ever have an option between Human and something else, we always go Human. Um, and then finally, uh, non-Humans are under that, and then any extraneous things are under that. So we're not, we're kind of role playing a little bit, just to kind of keep things, again, somewhat on the same page. Alright, we're going to keep the music where it is then. Dysfunctional, how are you, man? Sugar glider dude. Oh, it's okay, man. Feedback's always welcome here, brother. Always. Clutes! Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. Welcome to our community, man. Um, let's try talking to the traveler. Did all this stuff respawn? Or did we just miss it? What's up, bud? No, no missions for you. <laughs> I like it. He knew. He knew we wanted quests. We're addicted to quests. He knows. And he's not going to give this junkie any drugs. You have to keep one Bargress skull for a quest later. Sell all but one. Thank you, Leviathan Sub. I actually did not remember that at all. So I really appreciate that. Smack Mickey, how you doing today? Johnny Bravo, what's up, buddy? Good to see you guys. We are going to be collecting a lot of plants and such in this playthrough. Uh, we are doing a full completion playthrough, so we're going to be doing all side quests. Uh, going to be harvesting a lot of stuff, so anytime we want to make a potion, we'll have all the stuff available. We are going to be using a lot of potions um, and grenades. When we get uh, the ability to make bombs, we're going to be using a lot of those too. Since we're playing on the hardest difficulty, we're going to try to really take advantage of all the uh, different things the game offers us. Let's see what's in these two houses here. Hey, Dragoon Shadow, what's up, man? Hmm. Parcel? Okay. Looks like that's all that's in here. I keep seeing these little chests, but I can't use them. It's kind of odd. Let's check this one out. <laughs> cool. Couple bucks. Couple more bucks. Whoa, all sorts of things. Nice. Alright. How far into the game am I? Uh, maybe two hours. Maybe. If even.
Hmm. So, before we kind of wander too far off here, let's take a look at our quests and see exactly what we're supposed to be doing here. Uh, okay, we're looking for Behringer. He's way off. Fist fight. We should look for stronger opponents. I must see the Reverend if I want to solve the mystery of the outskirts. We need ten Vargas skulls. Three Drowner brains. Now, we don't have... See right here where it says this quest can only be completed if the Beast Street contains an entry about Drowners. We don't have that yet. So we want to make sure if we see Drowners, we don't necessarily want to kill them. Um, if we can't loot the stuff off them. Same goes for ghouls. I should speak with the Reverend. Okay, we need to talk to this the Reverend guy first. I should talk to the most permanent resident about Reverend. Okay. There's the Reverend's house. So we're going to kind of make our way down this way. Uh, I don't want to cut through here yet, because I kind of remember there's a... Uh, I don't remember much about this, but I do remember there's some non-human stuff down here. So we'll kind of stick to the initial quest stuff, and then uh, work our way back up this direction. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, what gens did you say? Co, no graphic content warning about which... Oh, you know what? I should have had 18 plus in the title. Um, is there a mod that could add 18 plus in brackets right at the beginning of the title, by any chance? Enemies respawn anyway. Enemies respawn? Even the ghouls in the crypt? Huh, see I didn't know that. For some reason I thought they didn't respawn. It's all good though. We'll still be a little careful about it. Alright, this is... Have we been down here? Yeah, that's where the campfire and everything was. What's up, bro? No, no missions for you. What the hell is this oh, thing? Crap, I'm wasting time. You got a pet monkey, bro? What did you? What is this little creature? I don't think I've seen any of those before. Okay. Well, that was. Hmm. Uh, Barack Iguana. First of all, absolutely love the name. Second of all, uh, we're only right now about two hours in. We're in the first area, which is called the... Uh, well, actually, we're, there's kind of a prologue that's almost uh, shares as kind of a tutorial. And uh, then it goes into the first area, which is where we are now. And this is called the Outskirts of the Zima. Uh, the city, which is what we're trying to actually get into to learn more about the people that killed our stronghold, Kira Morgan. Um, we can't get into the city because there's a plague. So we were able to get to this area and we're kind of working through here trying to find a way in. Let's play Slitting Throats. Comes for you. Wait, what? What did you say, girl? Are you my uncle? Have you got a sugar doll? Boring. No. Teach me to kill. Want to play Dispatching the Deceased? My dog spits blood. That. What is wrong with these kids? My dog spits blood. What? My dog spits blood. What? Yeah, I'm yeah. Salamander. I don't want to be a guard. Me neither. Let's play slitting throats <laughs> instead. How about the beast comes for you? One, two, the beast says boo. These children are scaring me. Uh, have I read the books? No. No, I've not read the books. Why does every house have a skeleton in it? What is going on here? This town, man. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna work our way south and see what's down this direction as well. I kinda wanna go out here when it's dark though. Cause I think that's the only time when the other things attack. The uh, Bargress or whatever they're called. Although, I remember darkness in this game is actually pretty damn dark. Oh, look at this little guy. So kitty. Oh, we can't interact with it. That's too bad. Hellbore and White Myrtle. I wonder if we can sell this stuff. Maybe a good way to get money. Fireplaces uh, just offer us a place to meditate, but we don't need to do anything that, like that right now. Odo's Dog. Alright, what's up, buddy? Save it. Where's he going? What's up, man? <laughs> he just runs into his doghouse, and that's it. Game over, man. Could we have talked to him or something? That is the worst guard dog ever, just for the record. That was the worst guard dog I've ever seen. 
Uh, ja Jarks Jam. We are doing two vanilla playthroughs. 100% vanilla. Yep. The only thing we're doing is anything released by uh, CD Projekt itself. Dance, this so content packs. Uh, we're playing the enhanced this edition. This fence was more familiar with Tankard than Sword. Hmm. 